For more videos on Palantir, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get into the video. A significant trigger is approaching for Palantir Technology shares, as the big data analytics firm will announce its quarter two earnings on Monday, August 5th, after the market's closure. Citigroup has shown caution regarding the software sector in recent months, although it anticipates that Palantir will exceed earnings expectations. Citigroup foresees robust performance from the company's commercial division. This assessment was made following Citigroup's visit to Palantir's headquarters, where they engaged in discussions with the company's executives. During these talks, management conveyed confidence in a long-term government contract revenue despite some short-term challenges. A Citigroup analyst even said that government contracts still appear sluggish. However, our discussions with management emphasized confidence in long-term acceleration, though there is some near-term caution. The data shows a sharp decline of over 60% due to a Department of Defense contract, which might have included some catch-up payments in the second quarter of the previous year. Citigroup also believes that Palantir's artificial intelligence platform will gain traction. These factors led Citigroup to increase its price target from $25 to $28. For the second quarter, analysts predict a revenue growth of 22.34% to $652 million. The adjusted gross profit is anticipated to rise by 26.18% to $538 million, marking the highest year-over-year -year growth since quarter two of 2022. In the last three quarters, Palantir has surpassed earnings per share estimates twice and met them once. Jefferies also increased its price target to $28 from $24 this morning while maintaining a hold rate. Rating. Analyst Brent Thill noted, Palantir's high valuation at 19 times expected sales is one of the most expensive stocks in our coverage. Nonetheless, Palantir's recent quarters have been strong, with Thill describing the company as a rare blended artificial intelligence applications infrastructure asset with near-term revenue momentum. Overall, analysts have an average price target of $23.07. The highest target is $35, while the lowest is $9. However, Palantir stock has fallen about 3% today. You should also know that Palantir Technologies closed the latest trading session at $27.08, representing a negative 0.37% change from the previous session's close. The stock's performance lagged behind the S&P 500's daily gain of 0.08%. Conversely, the Dow Jones Industrial Average registered a loss of 0.12%, and the technology-focused Nasdaq Composite rose by 0.07%. The company's stock has increased by 7 7.3% in the past month, outperforming the business services sector's loss of 0.96% and the S&P 500's loss of 0.21%. Investors will closely watch Palantir Technologies' performance in its upcoming earnings report. Therefore, investors should brace themselves for the earnings release on August 5th, 2024. The projected earnings per share for the upcoming quarter is $0.08, cents, indicating a 60% increase compared to the same quarter of the previous year. Meanwhile, our current consensus estimate anticipates revenue of $652.29 million, reflecting a 22.31% growth compared to the corresponding quarter of the prior year. For the entire fiscal year, the Zacks consensus estimates predict earnings of $0.33 cents per share and revenue of $2.7 billion, representing increases of 32% and 21.55% respectively from the previous year. Investors might also note recent changes to analyst estimates for Palantir Technologies, because these modifications usually indicate shifts in near-term business trends. Therefore, positive revisions in estimates demonstrate analysts' confidence in the company's business performance and profit potential. Our research indicates that these estimate changes are directly related to upcoming stock price performance. The Zacks rank system, which ranges from number one to number five. A number one indicates a strong buying opportunity, and a number five indicates a strong selling opportunity. Zacks has a notable track record of outperforming, confirmed by external audits, with stocks ranked at number one, delivering an average annual return of over 25% since 1988. Over the last 30 days, the Zacks consensus earnings per share estimate has remained unchanged. Palantir Technologies currently holds a Zacks rank of number three, which indicates that investors should simply hold the stock. Regarding valuation, Palantir Technologies is presently trading at a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 82.68. Additionally, it is noteworthy that Palantir has a price-slash-earnings-to-growth ratio of 3.08. The price-slash-earnings-to-growth ratio is similar to the commonly used price-to-earnings ratio, but it also considers the company's expected earnings growth trajectory. As the market closed yesterday, the 
the technology services industry had an average price slash earnings to growth ratio of 1.51. In the end, Palantir Technologies is poised for a significant event as it prepares to announce its quarter two earnings on August 5th, 2024. Citigroup and Jefferies have both raised their price targets, anticipating a strong performance from Palantir's commercial and artificial intelligence sectors. Analysts forecast significant revenue and profit growth, reflecting increased confidence in the company's long-term potential, despite some short-term challenges. The stock has shown robust performance recently, outpacing broader market indices and sectors sector averages. Investors and analysts will closely watch the upcoming earnings report for further insights into Palantir's business trajectory. For more videos on Palantir, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.